Who remembers using this to open this? The Hershey syrup in a can was just a lot better than the stuff they sell now. You may be cool, but you'll never be mullet rockin', aviator shade wearin', giant 80 cell phone talkin' cool. If you know this kid's name, you are officially old. Hell have no fury like a dad whose tools are missing. Gen X knows this rule all too well. If only I could step back in time and be in my grandma's kitchen again. Definitely wish I could do that. This is how you do lights in an A-frame. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, you're too young. I told my child if they beat this game, I'd buy them a new car. I think that game was called Pitfalls or something like that, wasn't it? Found this gem at my parents' house today. New kids on the block. We're all just the old kids on the block now. People, why does Gen X have such a twisted sense of humor? 101 Uses for an Unalived Cat by Simon Bond was a best-selling collection of Macabre cartoons. This book was promoted with the tagline since time was immemorial, mankind has been plagued by the question, what do you do with an unalived cat? Originally published in 1981. I, uh, I never remember seeing this book, but I don't think that was really a question that we had a hard time answering. And I know a lot of us Gen X have a twisted sense of humor, and even more so, really great sarcasm, but I don't really see how this book represents that. I am so old that when I was a kid, you actually had to win to get a trophy. How many remembers when Kool-Aid packs looked like this? You know you're getting old when your childhood toys start getting called collectibles or antiques. Yeah, and then you see for how much that they were selling for, and could kick yourself over and over again for getting rid of them at yard sales or giving them away. No one knew what these lollipops were called but Gen Xers ate them all the time. The hot stays hot, and the cool stays cool. The McDLT. I had a different slide about this in a previous video. Had a whole bunch of commenters. That's not called a McDLT. It's a McDonald's lettuce and tomato. And yes, you are correct. But, I still call it a McDLT. Although some people also called them a McDeluxe. I can actually hear and smell this picture. Bed knobs and broomsticks. Back when Disney still made pretty good movies. Yeah, that was Angela Lansbury there. She just passed away a couple years ago. My mom used to always watch the TV show she starred in. Murder, she wrote. Back when I was growing up, Ice cream came in a box. Yeah, and that was about the only way that it came too. And you also got a full half gallon in that box. I keep cutting them down smaller and smaller in these fancy containers you get today. You still see these boxes once in a great while. How many of you guys remember the Where's the Beef TV commercials? What restaurant made these advertisements? Drop it in the comments. Yeah, Jiffy Popcorn. That was in the pie tin with the foil wrapping on top. Put it directly on the stove and hold it by the little wire handle. I just kept moving around on the stove to keep the popcorn from burning. I think it was a lot better than this microwave popcorn. I don't know if they still sell these now, but I did have some back about four or five years ago. It was fun playing with this. Tyco racing with curve huggers. I only had the flat track version but I would play with it for hours. The sandwich tastes like summertime in the 80s. Yeah, turkey and cheese with barbecue chips on top. Putting the chips on the sandwich tasted a lot better than just having them on the side. And anytime I make a sandwich like this, I still put the chips on the sandwich even today. Now I have spent Saturday afternoons back in the 80s. Yeah, 
resetting the clocks on the VCR because nobody else knew how to do it. Age test. Like and share if you know what's inside this case. Gen X ended up not being remembered for anything, but being canceled is so Gen X. Wireless hand communication back in the day. We're this old. Yeah, you put your change in the machine, pick which one you wanted, and pull the selector knob. Being Gen X means having a general sense of impending doom since you were 13 years old. Yeah, it's taken a little longer than we were expecting, but we're just about to World War III, and it looks like the Second Civil War is shaping up too. Can I copy your homework? Just make sure to change it up a bit so it doesn't look like you copied. Until I saw this meme, I never realized how close they were. I've never actually watched The Mandalorian, but you see it in all kinds of memes. You can only pick one. I think I'd have to go with lemon. They were pretty good. The earth is littered with the ruins of empires that believed they were once eternal. 1988. 2023. Who remembers Mad Balls? I remember them, but I just couldn't remember the name of them until I saw it here. Looters have it easy today. It was a lot harder to run with a color TV in 1968. That's true, but the worst part is, if they put one of these in a Walmart today, they'd be an entire team of people to pick the thing up and walk out the store with it because no one would be allowed to stop them. When you're doing this, this is what I see. And if you know what cartoon that was from, drop it in the comments. Me waiting to see in the dark after eating carrots, because my mom said so. This is how we used to make juice when I was a kid. I can tolerate most people this long. A lot of the younger generations wouldn't understand this, but most of you guys will. There's animation. There's great animation. And then there's a bit in Disney's Robin Hood where a snake crosses his arms. Kids these days will never know what it's like to have three lives to beat the entire game. What movies come to mind when you see this man? I guess the first one would probably be Airplane. We didn't have an Xbox to play with when I was a kid. We just had a box. Yeah, but if you got a big enough box, or connected multiple boxes, you can make a Ford out of it. I'm this old. Yeah, you had the Kmart Cafe, and you also had the Walmart Cafe back in the day. When we lived in Kentucky, our local Walmart built a new store, and instead of having a Walmart Cafe up in the front of the store, they built a full McDonald's in the back of the store. I think something that young people could not possibly understand about Gen X and older millennials is that our entire personalities were shaped by watching shows that weren't at all for us or even interesting to us, but rather just because they were on. This is true. How many of you all when you were kids would end up watching off the wall cooking shows or hour long infomercials about the latest thing for washing dishes? or one for sharpening knives, or whatever it happened to be, just because there wasn't anything else on that we actually wanted to watch. Remember when teachers used to say, you won't have a calculator everywhere you go? Well, we showed them. Yeah, you got a calculator, and a camera, and a notepad, and basically an entire computer in your pocket. Who else remembers collecting stickers as a kid? I did for a little while. I had some kind of notebook that had like a wax type paper that you could stick the stickers on, but then you could also peel them back off or move them around or whatever. Lead dispenser safety being taught in an Arizona school, 1956. I also had this one in my newest episode of 
Laugh While the World Burns series. But this is very true. But like I said in that episode, they should have never stopped teaching these things. Like Woodshop, Driver's Ed, Home Ec, and a lot of those other classes that actually taught children useful skills. They just kept eliminating them until there was nothing left. And now these days, half of the schools, you don't even have to know how to read or do basic math in order to graduate. All you have to do is show up, don't ask questions, and do as you're told. Pretty much like most jobs these days. If you don't know this movie, we can't be friends. Corporate definitions for millennials and Gen Z. Email says, per my last email, what it means. Can't you read? I told my kids that I needed to tape something and realized they have no idea what I meant. And then I crumbled into an ancient pile of dust and my spirit went to live in an abandoned blockbuster video. Remember when you had to watch Titanic on two VHS videos? That was a very unnecessarily long movie. The two most famous shoe salesmen in Chicago history. Fact check true. When your mom buys off-brand cereal. That's actually funny, but it is pretty much true. You will remember what this was for. It's a hand washing station. We had one of these in my auto tech classes. Which that class didn't really teach me much, because my dad was a mechanic. So I grew up knowing most of that stuff anyway. But taking that class meant that I got to exchange half of a day at the high school to be able to go to the trade school that was about a quarter mile hike up a hill behind the high school. Who remembers books with records? Yeah, I had a bunch of these when I was a kid. I'd put a record on and then read along in the book. 1985, let's go to the future. 2024, let's go back to the 80s. If only that were possible. When you're trying to be a ray of sunshine, but people keep testing you. The world record for alcohol consumption is by Andre the Giant, who drank 156 beers in one setting, over 73 liters or 16 gallons. Just think, that's roughly 120 pounds worth of alcohol. That's more than some people weigh. Remember the record shops? When music wasn't in the cloud? I still hate cloud storage. I don't use the cloud or the Microsoft OneDrive, which I just can't seem to keep off of the computer no matter how many times you uninstall it. I keep actual MP3 files on my computer and then backed up on another hard drive. And I also keep those files on my phone. If Home Alone happened today. Mom? Dad? Hello? I'm Home Alone. Kevin, I'm so sorry. We just boarded, but I'll get off the plane and come right home. The end. I had never thought about it that way, but they literally couldn't make the same movie plot today. They'd have to have the power and internet and everything go out first. Which if that happened, the planes wouldn't even be leaving the airport. Remember these? One 80s movie has to go. Choose wisely. I showed this slide in a past video, and there was a bunch of you hooligans that chose Short Circuit. That's the only movie that can't go. I can get rid of all three of the other ones as long as Short Circuit stays. I bet most of you can still taste this to this day. If this wasn't your hot dog bun, hamburger bun, sloppy joe bun, bread or toast growing up, we aren't the same. You also used it for french toast, and we just made garlic bread this way two days ago. I can smell this picture. Yeah, a box of old crayons. If you ever have to have an emergency candle, they say that one crayon will burn for an hour. If I win the lottery, I'm not telling anyone, but you'll know. I bet someone, somewhere out there, has probably built that house. 
Back in the day, would this have been you? Yep, absolutely. Along with my Caterpillar dump truck. But that one kid there is going to be in trouble when his dad catches him with his bit and brace. Watch the funniest movie of the 80s in your opinion. Eh, there's a lot of choices here, but I'll go with National Lampoon's Vacation. Ricardo Mont Montalban? Montalban? I don't know. Struggled to find acting roles after Star Trek II. Nobody wanted to hire an ex-con. Pam My Ride, 90s edition. How many of you remember Astro Pops? Music fact. Many people never noticed that the spaceship on the cover of Boston's self-titled album is actually a guitar upside down. Meanwhile, in the 80s, MacGyver, so awesome that even his name is a verb. When you're 47 years old and you pick up a stick. I used mine so much I about wore out my Etch-a-Sketch when I was a kid. I didn't take no chances. They used that arm safety belt. You can only take one dog home. Well, I couldn't afford Scooby-Doo or Clifford because they eat too much. I couldn't stand Brian. Pluto and Astro would be all right. I can't remember his name, but he always had like a monotone type voice. I don't even think Goofy should be on this list. I mean, he's a dog, but he's kind of his own man, so to speak. Lady and the Tramp don't really fit in here either. So then you got Snoopy and Courage. Childhood Memory 261. Being hit in the shins by these <coughs> from hell. Yeah, I was just talking to someone in the comments the other day about when bicycles had the metal pedals with the traction cleats on them. Your foot slipped off the pedal and you hit your shin straight into it. What's the worst injury you guys had on a bicycle? I wiped out a few times. One time, ran a curve in gravel. Got some bruises and cuts, but I always walked away from it. If you love the content we're making, give that like button some love. To stay in the loop with all the excitement coming your way, smash that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. And share the laughter and the good vibes with your squad by posting this video on your social media pages. Check out my other videos here on the channel, stored in Acorn Stash. I thank you all for watching, everyone stay safe, and I hope this video has brightened up your day. Until next time, this is Acorn, signing off.